Chaplain Stendhal, it has been a delight to sit and to hear your story, which is our story as a chaplain corps. We're going to prepare to depart from this mountain, if you will. And, but before we do, I want you to look into that camera right there and speak to the United States Air Force Chaplain Corps and encourage us, uh, be our champion to give us strength as you have done for me personally in my career. Thank you, ma'am. Um, I want them to experience you virtually, albeit, as I have experienced you. Please, sir. You're immensely kind, Chapman Segris. I, I will speak to you. I'd be too self-conscious <laughs> to look at the camera to think that uh, I would have such singular wisdom to share. But the relationship that we have enjoyed, thank you for your trust. Thank you for the opportunity that we could have this conversation. It's an honor for me to talk to you and through you to the members of the United States Air Force, the Chaplain Corps specifically. If I would think of departing this mountain, uh, I think about departing active duty, there's a sense in which I don't prayerfully leave. Uh, I have a, a patch Chaplain Scheich gave me from the sleeve of the utility uniform about inspiring readiness. Mm. I like the patch. So Chaplain Scheich said here, and he <laughs> gave it to me. It's affixed to the, the headliner of my car. Every time I get into my car, it's an opportunity to be prayerful mm -hmm. for the chaplains, for the religious affairs airmen in the Air and Space Force and whoever wears the uniform. And I would share just a single word. The thing that's most important, if I have a, the core values of the Air Force are dear and they're inside me always. Fidelity, mm -hmm. to be faithful to the things that are most important. Be faithful to our Creator, who gave us life at the first. That's why we're here. Be faithful to the one who gave us life at the first. Secondly, be faithful to lifelong commitments in your life. Fidelity to family. And I would hear, well, some people are single. That doesn't mean they don't have loved ones. You have loved ones, other persons who loved you before you were in uniform mm. and will be there when we retire yes. and we take the uniform off. And if we are faithful to those priorities in our life, the cascading effect is we'll be faithful and we'll be fine when we're in uniform. Too often, when I was at the school, the participants in class would ask the visiting chief of chaplains, how do I get to be chief of chaplains? And I remember the chagrin, Chaplain Potter would kind of shake her head. Not the question. And I always would hear something that would reflect those priorities. Careful how you measure success. Yes. Yes. Because your loved ones won't necessarily remember what pay grade you retired. But they'll remember if you loved them, if you were faithful to them. Be faithful to the one, the creator who gave us life at the first.